Hello there, and welcome to week 17 of BC Timber Goats. Uh, this was an exciting week for us because we uh, moved the night corral, and uh, what we started to do is uh, uh, feed the goats in the corral a little bit, uh, and uh, that's and that's what I call thatching by keeping the goats in the corral and feeding them hay or biomass. That concentrates them so that you really not only do you trample some of the woody force fuels and debris, but you're also burying it. You're burying it with uh, the hay, you're burying it with other biomass, and then the goats are getting on top of that and also adding their valuable urine and manure as nutrients. So uh, we had the goats in the corral and uh, keeping them in there at night and, and the odd day when I'd uh, take off uh, and fed them. So we've got a nice pad on our first corral, which you'll see, or in our first location and then we expanded the corral moved it to a new location and um, have just put the goats in that and uh, have started feeding hay and here is just a little uh, flight survey so this is kind of the mulch pad which we want to deliver by uh, corralling the goats and feeding whether say it's part of a fuel mitigation program where there's lots of tree limbs and things you can feed to the goats uh, that's really good because it's the same vegetation that's going back into the soil so that tends to help feed the uh, the fungus that's already there which is a big um, big player in the soil and here we have the overhead view so you can see from the first corral to the second corral we've expanded the size considerably to maybe uh, maybe four or five times the size and so the plan would be to grid this out, keep the goats in here for two, three uh, weeks or so, depending on how much we're feeding them in there, because they're still um, herding them and browsing them uh, around the mountain. And uh, as we feed and as those layers get uh, kind of mulch and treated, then we keep moving the corral along in grids. And so this is kind of the finished product, which we'd like to deliver, which is you can see uh, where the two sheds were when we were feeding. And this was kind of our... Uh, kind of night corral containment unit and so for winter if we bale graze in here um, one grid at a time uh, I think that would be a really good way to enhance the soil mitigate fuel and deliver this nice mulch pad here